Okay, now that we've got all the body parts done that we need to get done, let's add the finishing touches. And by the finishing touches, to make it look more realistic, I think we want to add some highlights and some shadows where the originals were. And uh, I took a copy of the background and I put it on top here so I can see it. And you can see there's some, some highlights here, some shadowy areas. And I think what I'll do here is add the highlights because the shadows aren't going to show up very well on the fur but we can do it either way it doesn't really matter so what we're going to do is we're going to clip the uh, adjustment layers to whatever layer it is that has the fur on it but first of all we need to create some paths to do that with so i'm going to zoom in there's one here on this on the neck here this really big highlight here and you can see it it's up here on the scarf as well so let's do that one first and we're going to use the pen tool. See, well, I told you the pen tool was valuable for more than just creating graphics. So to start here, we're going to trace along here. This is not really important, that part there, because this is already there somewhere else. But this is the part that's on the fur here. We don't have to really get good right here because we're just going to get the fur here. And so this is pretty much all we need here. We're going to convert that to a selection, and I'm going to give it a feather radius of a, you know, it could be anywhere from one to three, depending on how hard you want to make the line here. Click OK. And now I need to be above the correct layer. So we want this, this is part of the chest layer, and then I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer, and it will mask off the adjustment layer to just the part that's on the chest here. Now I can increase the highlights of this area here and see I'm getting a highlight here that I had there. Now you can see here that it's also carrying over to the vest over here. And the reason is is because it's actually applying this adjustment layer to everything that's below here. If we want to just apply it to the chest layer, I'm going to have to clip it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key, click in between the two layers, and now it just stays right in the chest layer area and it takes it away from the vest. So we just isolated it to the chest area. And we're going to do that for the rest of them now, the rest of the, the areas where there's highlights. So we can see we got this one on the arm here. And again, getting the pen tool, we're just going to trace around it. And then start here. You can start anywhere you want. And just try to follow the shadow here. If you need to, you can go and adjust this path afterwards. But again, this is why it's so important that we learn how to use that path tool. We can go outside here. Again, because we're going to isolate it just to this one area here. And you can see the curve of the shadow here. And we'll connect it right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a shadow and we can adjust it later. This part right here, maybe uh, we want to add a, or adjust this one a little bit. We get the, move, the direct selection tool and adjust the curve a little bit there. Move this one a little bit here. That'll probably be a little closer. Now we convert it again to a selection with the radius, and this one is the left bicep, which is the left bicep is right here. And we will add the adjustment layer and we'll go ahead and clip it right off this time. So we'll turn off the background copy so we can see this here and begin lightening it up. So actually that was on the left bicep. I had it on the right bicep. It needs to be on the left bicep. So I moved the layer on top of the left bicep. And then now you can see here that it's applying the highlight there. I'm going to clip it. I have to clip it again. So get in between the layers there. Now it's clipped between there. 
and you can see that the highlight is a little bit uh, hard there. I mean, we want it hard on the top there, but over here it's a lot softer. So if we want to soften that up, we'll just get a brush and we can soften along that edge with a black or a white brush, whichever way we want to go, and just reduce the opacity so we have a, a nice smooth transition there. So that kind of softens that up a little bit. We can switch and darken this area up a little bit here and make it you know, very realistic looking. Okay, the next one will be on the forearm. I think there is a highlight there. Let's look at that one there. Yeah, nice big highlight here. Again, take the pen tool and we can trace along here. So once you've got the path adjusted where you want it, go ahead and convert it to a selection. Feather it again. And then we want to be on the left forearm this time. Add our level. Go ahead and clip it. And let's turn off this background copy. And bring up the level there and then if you want to again use um, a brush to kind of smooth it on out to make it mo look more realistic even though it looks pretty good right now the way it is we're going to do the same thing for this one over here so for the forearm here we'll go ahead and make a path out of here And do the same thing, convert it to a selection. When you start getting good at making paths, they happen pretty, pretty fast. So it's pretty easy to do. So we're gonna do the right forearm here. Add the, the level. Don't forget to clip it. And then create the highlight here. Now, if you wanted to make more of a shadow there, if you thought it needed more of a shadow, you could probably copy this layer here and invert, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, this layer, the levels layer, and then invert the mask. So let's go ahead and try that and see what that does. Let's duplicate that, that, lever, layer, that layer there. And if you click on the mask, it takes us to the mask properties here, and then we can invert the mask here. And with the mask inverted, oh, it, it hid the other one. So yeah, that's not going to work. We'd have to do it on two different layers if we were going to do that. Or actually, no, it, it is going to work. Let's make it darker and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. But see, it's not, it, it doesn't really look that good. It's just darkening up everything there. It's going to be way too much. The fur is already dark, so yeah, that's not going to not going to do good. It's just not going to look good. And I think I tried that before, so let's get rid of that and then just use the highlight instead. It's going to look way better. And let's zoom back out again. And we got a nice one there, a nice little shadow here, here, and that highlight that's up on the neck. And that's about it. It looks great. Uh, about the only other thing that I did here was use the liquify to turn his kind of little frown there into a little bit of a smile here so he looked a little happier. 
So Liquify, I just zoomed in and, and did pretty much what we did in the previous exercise. So that's masking and compositing in Photoshop.